Hi, everybody. Hello, how are you? Good, good. How are you? I'm pretty good, thank you. Good, excellent. Okay, let me just, uh, there's many people are still joining. So I'm giving them the admission to the class. Okay. How is everybody on this rainy day? Yeah. You better said rainy night. At least here in Sonsonate. <laughs> oh, you live in Sonsonate? Yeah. Is it raining in Sonsonate? Well, it's morning. It has been raining a lot during the afternoon. Oh, okay. And right now, is it raining? No, it's not raining. Okay, okay, that's nice. Well, in San Salvador, it's 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 raining. It's not very hard. Um, it's actually it's a very constant uh, rain. It's not spitting or drizzling. It's actually a little bit harder um, than that. But um, it's but it's nice. It's nice. I think that it's going to make us uh, sleep better. <laughs> I like it, anyways. Yeah, <laughs> I like it at night when I get to sleep. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> during the day, I really don't like it. Do you guys like the rain during the day or during the night or never? During the night, I guess. Yeah, right? It's better, I think. You can yeah. sleep. Yeah, yeah, you can sleep yeah. all covered up with the blankets. It's nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what about the rest of you? Do you guys like rain during the day? No? Yes, yeah, sometimes. Sometimes? When you don't have anything to do because you can sleep. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, definitely um, it, when you don't have anything to do and um, you can just be at home doing nothing. That's nice. It really is really, really nice. It's uh, nice to see movies. Pardon me? It's not, yeah, when, when it's rainy, it's nice, it's nice to see movies or series like <laughs> Netflix or something like that. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely, yeah. I'm having a cup of coffee. Pardon me? And you? having a cup of coffee. A cup of coffee? It, yeah. Oh, yeah. That sounds really good. A cup of coffee. With yeah. a slice of or, bread. <laughs> what was that? With a slice of bread. And a slice yeah. of bread. Yeah. Yeah. Pastry. Yeah. <laughs> Pastry. yeah. yeah. It, definitely. It's, it, that, that sounds like a really good plan. Um, or hot chocolate, right? Yeah. Hot chocolate. With, I prefer with the coffee. <laughs> My bad. Do you, guys, do you guys like hot chocolate with marshmallows? Have you ever tried? Not really, that? not really. No? Have you guys ever tried? No, no, I don't like really. OK. I see. Okay. Well, guys, um, I think uh, we're almost, we have everybody here, or at least the majority of people here. Okay. Um, so, um, so guys, welcome to today's class. Thank you guys for um, being here um, on time. Um, So, oh, okay. So um, yesterday, um, yesterday uh, we started talking a little bit about, well, we, we talked a little bit about the platform. Have you guys had the opportunity of, um, of seeing the platform and doing some exercises on the platform? Yes, I have. Uh, I saw the platform. 
Okay. And questions that you guys have about the platform? Well, today I had some problem because I put a uh, double space in, in uh, between the words. That's why the, the, the platform they took the, my answers like wrong. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was, but after I, sorry, I, that was something else I wanted to tell you guys um, that I forgot to tell you yesterday. Um, the platform is very sensitive uh, to using correct spelling, correct gr uh, grammar and correct um, punctuation. So you need to be careful. You got to make sure that you're using it correctly. Um, so if, if, the, if the sentence doesn't have a period, for example, make sure that it has a period at the end. If the sentence, um, if, if it needs to have an apostrophe, make sure you're using the apostrophe and not another symbol because there are some symbols that, that look similar to the apostrophe, but they're not an apostrophe, and then it will take it as wrong. So you got to make sure that you're using the correct symbol. For those of you that don't know if it's the correct symbol, it's the one that is the same symbol. Well, all keyboards will be different, but uh, in my keyboard, for example, it's the one that has the, the question mark. Okay, that, is, that part over there is with the apostrophe. Um, so you just do the shift. Uh, you put the, the, you know, the key with the shift and then put that um, that same um, the same symbol, the one that's with the question mark, okay? Uh, and that's the apostrophe. Also, you gotta be careful um, that you're using um, a cap, capital letters as well, okay? So that may also um, be a problem. And lastly, make sure that you're not using extra spaces, right? Because yes, it's going to give it to you as wrong. Um, something you gotta know mm -hmm. is that you, you might say like, but why, it's not a big deal. Yeah, it may not feel like a big deal, but actually in English, it is a big deal. Um, for English speakers, <laughs> um, having correct spelling, correct punctuation, like periods and everything, all of that is really important. It's part of actually the culture of, of writing correctly. So if you're not writing correctly, um, it may give the wrong impression. Like it may make it look like one, you're not really um, interested in the message. It's, your message is not important or the person you're sending the message to is not important. So you're just like, eh, whatever, you're writing whatever down. It may also look like you don't have a very high education level. Um, it, it may even um, provoke someone from a, like even being offended. So you got to be careful on the correct punctuation and things like that in the, um, in the platform. Okay. So does anybody have any questions that you want to ask about the platform? or about what we talked about yesterday? Not really, I have the same problem with the punctuation or double space, but only one, only, this is the only one problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. The thing is that you sometimes do, do it, um, that's the thing. I think. Sorry, could you repeat, Raphael? I, I think I didn't hear very well what you said. The thing with the platform uh, is that sometimes you do it um, fast, fastly, and that's the way that that you make your, your music, right? And yeah. Double space. Yeah, sometimes if you're doing it too fast, that may be a problem. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Yeah. Um, so, it, or maybe when you start, when you when you write the sentence, uh, you start with 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 a uh, space, and sometimes it's a problem. In um, maybe you can see that, but maybe uh, you write you, you start the sentence with the space, or you finish 
uh, your sentence with with uh, with the space, and this is the problem sometimes in the platform. Yeah, you're absolutely right about that. Um, it, yeah, even it, sometimes um, starting with the space will will cause a big problem. So you definitely have to be careful on um, how you're going to be writing the platform. Take your time. Don't rush. And that's why I told you at the beginning, do it. Start with the platform from the beginning. <coughs> Excuse me. Start from the beginning um, of the course to do the platform so that you're not rushing at the end, right? Um, and that will help you to get a better score and not be so frustrated, okay? So anyway, um, before we continue, um, okay, I just wanted to uh, review with you guys. Do you remember yesterday we started talking a little bit about um, about relative clauses with the relative pronouns? Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, so, um, okay. Uh, what we're gonna do is the following. Um, okay, I'm going to be sharing the PowerPoint with you. I want you to see the slide here. Um, okay, I want you to tell me when you were able to see the slide. Yeah, we can see now. You can see it now? Okay, perfect. All right, so what I'm going to do is, um, let's see if I can. Can, can you see, uh, Rain, okay, what, can you see, um, Okay, in, in the in the PowerPoint right now, uh, do you see where it says participantes or no? Our classmates? Mm -hmm. No, right? Yes, I can see. Can you see where it says where I'm, I'm I have a, a, a box open where it says participantes and it says 16? Our participants, sixteen. In this moment, we are seeing we are, we are we are looking at your presentation in PowerPoint. Okay. okay, perfect. All right, good. That's actually what I wanted. Okay, so that's that's perfect. So what I'm going to do is the following. Okay, so these are uh, prompts. We're going to start the class by doing this. So we're going to say, "It's a person. It's a thing. It's something that. It's someone who." Blah blah blah. Okay, so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to choose randomly. I'm going to choose somebody in the class and I'm going to give, I'm going to send them uh, via chat. I'm going to send them a private message with um, a noun. Okay. And that person has to describe that noun. Okay. So give, remember yesterday I gave an example. Um, for example, if I if I say if I send to you the word a bee, okay, then you can say a bee is an insect that makes honey, right? Okay, but uh, what I want you to do right now is actually um, I need you to, uh, without saying what the noun is, you're going to try to make your partner or your partners or your classmates guess what it is. So instead of saying um, a bee is an insect that makes honey, you would say um, it's an insect that makes honey. 
And then the rest of the class would go, oh yeah, it's a B. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yes. Any, yeah, any questions? Okay, all right. So I'm going Not to start with the first one. Um, I have chosen somebody randomly and that person has received the chat, in the chat, the, the, the word, and I want them to explain to the class using one of these prompts. All right, it's a thing that we use to rest. Can you hear me? A bed, a bed. Um, we, <laughs> it's a thing that it's uh, kind of could be a closer, closer to a table. Sofa, okay. couch, desktop, it's a chair. Yes. Okay. Hey, excellent! Chair. Bravo. Okay, very mm -hmm. good. Okay, so for those of you that were not sure how. How the game worked you saw how it worked right yeah you see, any questions how this works no okay all right good because i'm going to now is send another one through private chat i'm going to send the next word and the person has already received it okay it's a place where we can go when we have a, a illness. A yes. hospital? Yes. Hospital. Perfect. Excellent. Okay, very okay. good, guys. Excellent. Okay. All right, again, random, just randomly, I'm going to send to the next person. And I have sent it. Okay, um, so I sent the noun to the person. Please check if you are the person. Where we can check. Okay, there she is. Okay. I don't know if I am there. I don't know what, where I can check the right. Um. Sorry, who was speaking? Um, Pamela. Uh, nope, I actually, I'm sorry, I sent it. Okay, I actually sent it to Lillian. Lillian Berenice, -ish. are you there, Lillian? Or maybe she's having trouble opening up her microphone. Okay, it's okay. It's okay, Lynn. I will send it to someone else. Not a problem. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm going to send it to Okay. I have selected a new person and I just sent it to that person. All right, so please go ahead and check. It is for me. Uh, who spoke? <laughs> Diane. 
Ah, uh, yes. That's for you then. Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead, Diane. Uh, okay. Okay, I try. Um, it's a person who help you to attend in your um, when you are sick. A doctor. A doctor. <laughs> yes. All right. Very good, guys. Excellent. Okay. Good. Um, let's see. Oh, I just lost my chat part. <coughs> a moment. Oh, there, okay. there it is. I lost the chat part. <clears throat> okay, um, let me send the next one to um, oh, this one. Okay. Okay, I've sent it to the next person. Okay, did you check, make sure, check that you haven't gotten in the chat? Found it? Hmm. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, there you go. All right, there he is. Okay, go for it, Samuel. It's a place where you go to the uh, to play and relax. Which? Which in the beach? <laughs> no. It's a park. Yeah. Oh my God. No. <laughs> All right. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Good. Um, okay. Let's go for the next person. I've already sent it to the next person. It's a person who makes furniture. Carpenter. 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 Okay, very good, guys. Hey, you're you're getting very good at this. Okay. Um, okay. All right. So I send it to the next person. Okay, uh, you hear me? Yes. We yes, hear. we can hear it. Uh, it's a place uh, where you can go and eat something. We're in a restaurant. A restaurant. restaurant. Yes. <laughs> okay, excellent. Very good. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, okay, send it to the next person. Okay. Um, it's a person um, who, who gave you education since you were a child. Is that a teacher? 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 Since you you were born? <laughs> Father? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Good. Good. Okay. All right. Next person. 
Okay, I already sent it. Oh, no, never mind. That person's no longer in the meeting, it says. Okay, let me see. Okay, send it to the next person. Uh, it's a scene that you can travel so fast. That a plane? No. Train? What yeah, train. Oh, train. Okay. You're right. Okay, very good. Okay, next. Send it to the last person. Oh, sorry, to the next person. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yes, we can yeah. hear you. Okay. Yeah. It's a person that is hated by the, how, how do you say, uh, population, population? Population. <laughs> yeah, population. 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 Yeah. Sorry, well, I was I was clicking on different things. I, I didn't see that I had moved this. Okay. Okay. Well, it's a person that uh, we give he, him the power to make rules for the people. President. President. A president? Politician. No. Politician? Yeah, politician. Yeah. All right, very good. Okay, and this is going to be our last one. Um, can you hear me? Yes, yes. we can hear you. Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, it's, it's a drink. We'll say you drink um, to heal your body. It's blue white. Um, and Neil? you like, yeah, it's <laughs> Did everybody hear that? No, not really. Oh, no, it's a little confused. Yeah, it's Neil. It's Neil. I think it's a, a bad connection. Could you repeat the, the, the clues? Um, if, if you do them. Sorry, could you repeat that? I, I, I think we, we, we missed that. Do you hear me now? Yes, yeah. we can hear you now. Right, so I'm, saying, I'm gonna say it quickly. And um, something that it's white, you, it's a drink, that you, you drink milk. Milk. Yeah, it's milk. Okay, very good guys. All right, bravo, excellent. Okay, so, if you notice, um, we we actually use we use uh, these um, relative uh, clauses much more often than we probably realize. It's very common to be able to describe things um, when when somebody doesn't know what something is. It's very common to use relative um, clauses to be able to explain to someone what something is right so you say oh yeah um so you say what is that and you say oh yeah it's something that blah blah blah, blah you use for blah, blah, blah. it's something or it's someone who um knows about blah, blah 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 so it's very very common to use this okay now yesterday we were learning a little bit about um about using relative pronouns uh as subjects right um, what that means is the following. I'm going to show you. Um, I'm actually going, can everybody see the whiteboard that I have in front? Tell me nope. when you can see the oh, whiteboard. Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. Yeah. Right. right now we can see. Okay. Good, good, good. All right. Let me just make this bigger. There we go. 
So uh, we have two types of relative clauses that we want to look at. And the first one is what we call So the first one is uh, relative pronoun of subjects. Okay. Um, or. Okay. So as a subject, oops, as a subject. Okay, so um, this is when we these are like those sentences that I showed you yesterday. Um, there, I'm just going to make it easier for you to read. So we say, for example, yesterday I said, a vet, oops, a vet is a person who treats sick animals, right? Um, which part is the relative clause? three six animals exactly very good okay so this part here who treats sick animals is what we call the relative clause right now a Relative clauses always begin with, with what? Relative what clause? With who, who or that. Good. And what do we call those? Who? Relative pronoun? Very relative. good. They're called relative pronouns. So we always start with a relative pronoun. It could be who, that, or that which. which. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. Now, Something that you have to understand is that the relative pronoun in these types of sentences, what they're actually doing is they are describing, they are defining, they are identifying the noun right before it. So in other words, we are identifying who that person is. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes, yeah. it makes sense. Okay. So when I say a vet is a person, a person what? A person who treats sick animals. So all of this part here, I'm going to, all of this part here is the called the relative. Um, clause and this part here is giving me information about the person. Sounds good? Sounds, yeah. Yes, yeah. sounds good. Okay, now, however, um, there are other types. Oh, sorry, before we continue, I wanted to explain something else to you. Um, it's also very common uh, to use rel uh, relative clauses when we want to combine two sentences. For example, if I want to say, um, um, we can say, for example, my sister, um, my sister is the blonde girl. And I am going to say um, she is wearing a red dress. Oops, not dress, but dress. Okay. So if I have two sentences here, one of the functions, oh, actually I'm getting, okay. So one of the functions of the of relative clauses is to be able to combine 
these two sentences. So instead of saying my sister is the blonde girl and she is wearing a red dress, we can put these two sentences together to make it one and we end up with We end up with, my sister is the blonde girl who is wearing a red dress. See, and now it has combined the two sentences by using the relative pronoun who. Does that make sense? Oops. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. So that is one of the functions. Um, so, uh, There it is. Okay. So, um, so what I do is I use the relative pronoun to combine these two sentences. But if you notice, in order to use the relative pronoun who, I have to eliminate a few things. What is the first thing that I eliminate? What do you notice? What do I eliminate? She. She. Exactly. One of the things I eliminate is the word she because the word she is now replaced with the word who, which is used for a person. So I, do, I use the word who instead of she. The other thing that I eliminate is, what else do I eliminate? Is. No, I continue using is, it's right here. The point? Yeah, the point. Yeah, yeah. the period, exactly. That's the other thing I eliminate. There you go. I eliminate the period. So I ended up with just, my sister is a blonde girl. And then I, instead of she, I put who is wearing a red dress. The same sentence, but now using the word who instead of she and eliminated the verb, uh, the, the period. Okay? Sounds good? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, sounds okay. good. Good. Now, um, yeah. So that is a relative pronoun as a subject. Now let's talk about using a relative pronoun as a noun. I'm sorry, as a sorry. So, sorry. sorry. Yeah. Okay. How 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 did you call the point? A period. A period? period. Yeah, it's a period. Okay. When we're talking about uh, the point at the end of a sentence, it's called a period. Okay. okay. So uh, the, 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 the point, let's say, um, it's called different things depending on the, the, on the function. So if it's at the end of a sentence, it's called a period. If it's in like in a in an email address uh, or a um, or a website, it's called a dot. Yeah. So you say dot com, for example. Yeah. Uh, so it really depends. Um, uh, but it's actually it's it's mostly called a dot um, period. Um, it could also be a decimal point. Also a decimal point. Right, if it's like a number, so it depends. Okay, anyways, mm -hmm. um, going back to this, what happens is that's with the relative pronoun as an object, sorry, oh, object, not objective, I'm sorry. Object, there you go. Um, so a, this is actually, it looks a little bit confusing, but it's really not, okay? So I'm going to give you an example. 
Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna say, let me take away the boldness. I'm gonna say my my sister is the blonde girl. Okay. And I'm gonna say you were talking to her. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, so I have two sentences here, just like I had them over here. And what I want to do is change, or better said, put these two sentences together to make them one. And so what I'm going to do, oops. I'm going to put them over here and I'm going to put them there, right? What am I going to write, class? It's exactly what you already know. Mm -hmm. My sister is the blonde. Okay, I don't know. My sister okay, is my the blonde sister. girl is the blonde girl good Oops. who you were talking with talking sorry sorry is the blonde girl is the blonde girl who good who what you were talking with you were talking with or you were talking to in this case talking to good exactly that's exactly what it is okay so my sister is the blonde girl who you were talking to. All right, sounds good, everybody? Yeah. Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay, good. It's not, it's not necessary to put with at the end. We can put two, all. Uh, you, you talk to somebody or you can talk with somebody. So um, you can use both prepositions. Okay. In this case, okay. I use the, the word to, to. so I would have to continue using to. You were talking. Okay. okay, sounds good, everybody. It's not necessary to put. Hmm? Sorry? It's not necessary to put uh, to her because we are talking about uh, the sister. Exactly, very good. Um, just like over here that who replaces the word she, in this case, the her is replaced by the word, um, by, by the word who. Mm -hmm. okay. I, I have a question to say. Yeah. Is correct if we use blonde for female or we have to add the letter E? Um, actually, um, it can be both. Blonde. Um, yeah, I've seen it. I've actually seen both. it um, spelled as both. So, um, let me yeah. find out for you exactly what the difference is. The Google, tra Google Translator. <laughs> the Google Translator, yeah. Um, when I put blonde, it's uh, Google, Google Traductor says it's, it's translator. Really for, for male. Translate. Yeah, the thing is that um, but. It, the word, actually this word is, um, uh, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, it's been taken from the French. And we can use, this, we can use that, that word for, for, for both, female and male. Yeah, um, in French, I, I, I know that, um, that there is a difference when using E. Um, and without the E, one is for masculine, the other one is feminine. But um, in English, I don't think there's too much of a difference. But let me find out for you. I will, I will just make no, sure. Okay. okay. So I will, I okay. will. 
I will investigate and I will tell you the answer tomorrow. Okay. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. So um, again, the same thing here happens uh, where the who is um, replaces, let's say, the the word who replaces the word her, right? So we don't have to say to her, uh, her anymore. We can limit it because the who is now replacing her, okay? So that's why we're not going to put, say, to her again. However, I want you to notice something very interesting that happens here. If you noticed over here, when I used who, I eliminate the word she. But over here, when I used who, I don't eliminate the word you. I continue using it. You notice? Why? Anybody have any idea why? Because we are talking about different people. Yeah. Okay, good. We're talking about different people. Exactly. What is the, okay, so the relative, the relative pronoun, sorry, the relative clause starts here. Oops. So the relative pronoun starts here. Okay. And in the rel in that relative pronoun, can you tell me what is the verb? What is the verb? Okay. Sorry? Can Sorry? Can you repeat please? So in the relative clause, what is the verb? Inside of the relative clause. The principal verb is where? Talking. We're talking. Talking. Exactly. Actually, it's we're talking to. That's the verb. Okay. So if that's the verb, If this is the verb, then what's this, what is the subject? You. Exactly. Very good. There Thank you go. You. Very, very good. You is a subject because we know that the verb always goes after the subject, right? You already know that. So that means yeah. that you becomes the subject of the relative pronoun, sorry, of the relative clause. So if this is a subject, what is this? This who represents what? The object? Exactly, very good, there you go. It's the object, hmm. right? It's the object of the relative clause because we have a subject. In this one, do we have, if you, if you notice in this one, the who, in this one, in this, these two, the who in this case is actually the subject. So, Why? Because if you notice, there is no other subject in the relative clause. Right? The same thing here is the subject. because we don't have another subject. Therefore, this one has to be the subject, right? And if, if, if um, you're not, if you're having trouble identifying when who is a subject right. and when it's an object, don't, don't complicate yourself. Just look at if after, if after the word who, there is a verb like treats or is wearing, then that means that, this, that who is the subject. But if after the who, there is a subject or a, there is a noun, then the who is an object. Does that make sense? Okay. That is the clue. Yeah, that's the trick. Yeah. So if you don't, don't complicate it. 
sub if, if uh, who if after the who there is a verb that follows then the who is a subject if after who there is a noun that follows then who is an object that's the rule okay okay any questions guys yes. no everything is good i think everything is clear Oh no, I'm yes, so sorry. Everything is I just realized that there was somebody in the waiting room. Oh my. And I was just so, so <clears throat> in the, just explaining that I didn't notice. Um, so, any questions at this moment? Don't, don't, don't be afraid. Go ahead and ask. I'll give you another example just to make That's sure okay. that you understand. I bought the house which you liked. Okay, so if you notice over here, we have, uh, okay, which you liked is, oh, no, sorry, which you liked is the relative clause. And here we have we have the relative pronoun which, but which we know that has to be the object because after which we have what do we have? Sub we have the subject, which is you. Okay, so in this case, which is the object? And you is the subject. Okay? See? I guess in Spanish, yo compré la casa que a ti te gustaba. O oh, oh, que, oh, que, que a ti te gustó. Okay? So there you go. In that case, which, which is a relative pronoun, is the object because after which we have a subject or a noun. Yeah. Um, I have a question. Okay. Tell me. Is there a structure for that? What do you mean if there is a structure for that? Um I don't know how to say in the at uh, the other form that. Um, a structure for the relative pronoun as an object or relative pronoun as a subject. Um, you just a structure like a object, um, you plus um, verb. No, not really, because all you're doing is putting. Okay, th what this 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 sentence comes from putting two sentences together, which are which would be like this. It, if the two sentences were separate, it would be, I bought, I bought a house. You liked it, right? So then what I do is I want to put these two sentences together and I turn, and it turns out to be like this. Okay, I bought a house, you liked it, becomes I bought a, 
Oh, oh sorry. I bought the house. Sorry. My mistake. Yes, the house. I have. I bought the house. You liked it. So now I'm going to put them together and I'm going to say, I like the house, which you liked. So the only, the only thing you do in order to put these two together is eliminate the, the period okay. and change, uh, sorry, and um, add the word which and eliminate it because the which is going to replace the word it. That's the structure. Oh, okay, okay. Does that make sense, Marcella? Yes, yes. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank right. you. You're welcome. Okay. <clears throat> now, one last thing I wanted to explain to you um, about the relative, the relative pronouns as an object is that some there's something very interesting that happens with uh, these kind of sentences, and it's that you can use the relative pronoun yeah. as an object. So I can say, my sister is the blonde girl who you were talking to, or I bought the house, which you liked. But there's also another possibility. If you want, and this is only if you want, okay, you can, you can um, eliminate the which or the who. So it's possible, it's grammatically correct to say, my sister is the blonde girl you were talking to. Or I bought the house you liked. Okay? So I have mm -hmm. the I have the option, the choice of using the relative pronoun or eliminating it if the relative pronoun is an object. If it's a subject, yeah. I can't eliminate it. I need to have it. But if it's an object, I can eliminate it. Is that clear for everybody? Yes, thank you. Yes. Yeah. Anything you want to ask me? It's a in this example, what does a, a, I bought the house means? It's like a complement in the sentence? Uh, this is the main, the main clause. I bought the house. And oh, the main clause. Okay. Richard, oh, okay. I, I, is the relative clause. I forgot. Yeah, so this is the main okay. clause, and this is the relative clause. Yes. I bought the house is a main clause. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank Correct. You. But Teacher, but yes. what you said would be would be truth. Always we have uh, a subject after, right? Yes, you can only eliminate the relative pronoun if there is a subject after. If there is no okay. subject, like in this case, there's after who, there is only a verb. And like after here, who, yeah. there's also another verb. Then in that case, it's not possible. You need to have the relative pronoun. But if you have yeah. Uh, yeah. a noun after it, it's possible to eliminate. Possible, not an obligation. It's only possible. Okay. Okay. Sounds good, everybody? Yes, sounds yeah. good. Okay. Any other questions you have? Ask now so that I can help you. Okay. All right, guys. Um, so that's going to be all for today. Um, tomorrow, we're going to be doing a little bit of practice with this. I'm going to get you guys to work in groups and uh, make sentences. Now that you understand this, you can also work on the platform. I highly recommend you start working on the platform. I mean, if you haven't done it yet, I really recommend that you do it. Okay, um, so I'm going to stop the sharing here. Um, you guys can, um, you can, if you if you didn't have the opportunity of copying, you can look at the video that I post. I don't know if you guys already seen that uh, there is a playlist of, uh, on YouTube 
for this um, this course. I already uploaded the first video, if you, which was yesterday. So you can also see this one today. Okay. 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 Any questions, guys? No. No, not right now. No. Okay. All right, guys. So that will be all for today. I will see you tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Take care. Good night. 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 Good